Du warst, das ist in Sura Mudathir, Dharni wa man khalaqatu wahida. Have you heard of this verse? Yeah? This verse, the context of it is about Walid ibn Mughira. And Walid ibn Mughira was one of the big dons of Quraysh. He was uh, one of the chiefs, and he was very wealthy, and he had many children, many sons. So he was a powerful guy. He was bigger than Abu Jahl, been very intelligent and very respected as well. And he was getting a bit tired of the Prophet ﷺ preaching his message. So he was sent by the Quraysh to negotiate with the Prophet ﷺ. And the Prophet he came to the Prophet ﷺ and he got he out, basically he spoke to him. And the Prophet listened. The Prophet listened and let it get him, basically get everything off his chest. So he just sat there, he went going, is it money you want? We give you all the money you, you, you've ever dreamed of. Is it women you want? We give you the most beautiful women. You, is it this? Is it this? Is it this? And the Prophet just went, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until he got it off his chest. Very wise, to, you know, when, when someone's upset, and it's always good to let them just get it, you know, let off steam on you. Yeah? So this is a lesson for you in your relationships. If someone comes, just let them get it off their chest. Okay? And then wait. If you finish, you got it all out. Okay, now engage. And the Prophet Sarsan did this, and he went, he recited to him verses of Qur'an. And those verses of Qur'an completely blew him away, Walid ibn Mughira, and he went back home completely troubled. He says, this can't be the word of man. So his friends, his posse, they noticed when he came back that he wasn't the same man who had left them. And they got worried. Walid, what's happened? And he went, leave me alone, I need to think about this. And then the next day, he basically decided he's not going to believe in the message of the Qur'an. And they started, he started trying to work out what they could accuse the Prophet of. Was he a, you know, was he a poet? Was he this? Was he that? And they finally came up, what was the conclusion? That he was a magician. He's got some bad jadu, this guy. And he will basically, he can't even, con you know, it just comes from the unseen and he just bewitches you. They did scare tactics, basically, because people, everyone's scared of what? It's the magic, isn't it? Like if you want to be able to scare people and get, you just say, it must be black magic. Oh my God, I can't do anything about black magic. What can I do about it? And you get panic stricken. So scare tactics. Okay. And so that now the Prophet is worried. He says, this guy's really causing problems. And he was a big don as well. He's like the godfather of a Mecca. And so the Prophet's worried. So Allah responds. He says, this person that's trying to ruin your reputation and, and ruin everything you're doing, don't worry about him. Dharni. Dhar in Arabic is a command that means leave me to him. Okay. So he's ordering the Prophet, leave. He's telling the Prophet, leave, he, leave me. Ni. We know this, isn't it? Darabani. So leave me. And... Huh? Not from who? Remember, min is from, men is who. Leave me and who? Ah, ah, ah conjugation. What's, so, no, no, it's not, it hasn't got three consecutive vowels. So, it's first or second person. What one is it? First, so I what? Created. So leave me and who I created, Wahid. What's Wahid mean? It's a common Pakistani name, Wahid. Do you know any Wahids? You know a Wahid? Well, you can tell him what his name means now. It means unique. One of a kind. Now that was the name of Walid ibn Ughir. That was a nickname he was given. He was known as the unique one because he was so wealthy, so powerful. But Allah's not using it in that context. He's using it as he's just one alone. Yeah, he's just one single person. Yeah. Whereas wahid, ithnan, thalatha, the numbers. So Allah says, leave me. Now in the Quran, when Allah uses me in the singular, when Allah's referring to himself in the singular, it's like, just bring him on to me. You know? I'll take him on, just myself, I don't need anyone else. When Allah uses the royal we, I, uh, the we, it means his power and force, but he doesn't want to use, express power, he doesn't even need to exert much power. He says, this little man, just, I'm going to 
take him on, spar one at a time, uh, one, one on one. Okay. So leave me, Allah says, and who I created just alone. This is speaking about Walid ibn Mughira. So, and, sorry, and who, he could have used men or he could use what? al These both translate as who, don't they? But al means a specific person. And men means anyone. So what Allah wants us to say here, and it is, he's referring to a specific person, but he just wants to say, this person is not even important. He's not, I'm not even going to specify him as one individual. He's just nothing. So he uses men to mean he's nothing special. While if you use al it can mean special in this context. Okay? So leave me in the one, just this person, you know, this nobody, who I created. Now, this is the person being described. This is this secondary sentence here, describing this person. Is the person being described the subject or the object of this verb? Object. So if he's the object of the verb, what should there be there? It's not there. He's removed it to say he's nothing. It's not even worth mentioning. So usually, if the third person is to be described as the object of the verb sentence, it, does, it must be mentioned as a pronoun. But he's removed it to say doesn't mean it's not even worth mentioning. And then Wahid, he's playing on his nickname to say he's not unique. He's just one isolated individual. That's, he thinks he's such... People think he's so big and so confident, but he's really insecure, nothing special, abandoned, just one person. So you see, do you see all the li linguistic tools there to describe that this man who the Prophet was concerned about, Allah saying to him, don't worry about him. He's not, he's not who, what you think he is. He's so, someone who is weak and I could just crush him like that. Okay. So just you get on with your mission. Don't you worry about him. I will, what? Take care, Take care of him. Is that, is that clear? So we've got three. We've got this as a linguistic device. Allah speaking in the singular, saying, I alone will take him. We've got this as a device. He could have used al being specific, but he used men to mean general as if he's no one special. He used this as a device, and I created him. Like, just me, singular again. And then who, he omitted it to say he's not even worth mentioning. And then this is the device to play on his name, who people use this name to mean he was special and unique, to say he's nothing special and unique. He's lonely, isolated, unimportant. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك امنا سوى ظلمنا انفسنا وان لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لكن من الخاسرين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين so this is this is what we call ellipsis in language where you remove something that you would assume to be mentioned in for a, for a device and there's many reasons why it's removed this is one of the reasons okay